So in this video, I just wanted to show you um, my spare parts bow, really. I sort of built this for field, um, for anything else, really. Uh, clout archery, anything where I kind of didn't want to mess up my Eastern ACE arrows, which I thought were a bit too expensive to kind of break and lose, really. So I kind of built this um, for, for cheaper arrows, and I've used it a fair bit, actually. So it's been quite useful to have a, have a, spare, a spare bow. Um, this was originally my kind of a lot of my original kit, especially the riser, which was a horizon, uh, Hoyt horizon blackout color. Uh, it was a left-handed riser and it was the first riser that I actually bought. And so I've still got it, uh, when I started archery. Um, and the long rod is also the first long rod I ever bought, which was a Mybo uh, 30 inch, uh, carbon long rod, which I found to be, uh, pretty good actually. Um, a lot you can do with the weights on the ends of these. I did actually have the Mybo short rods at one time as well, um, but I sold those and then upgraded to the um, Win and Win ACS Nano short rods, which are on my main um, target bow at the moment. The limbs, um, these are Hoyt Carbon Ace uh, 38 pound medium mm. limbs. I actually upgraded to these from Hoyt 720 limbs when they were out before the 820s took over from them. Um, this, the Hoyt Carbon Aces kind of, kind of stayed around, uh, around with the Quattros, the Hoyt Quattro limbs, and they kind of stayed around for a little while while the X-Tors came in, um, and then they kind of stopped being produced. I actually upgraded to the X-Tors on my target bow from these, but decided to keep these um, for this kind of bow. One nice thing I did like about these limbs was that Hoyt made this kind of sparkly silver gray kind of on the back of these limbs and they did look the paint job looked really nice actually it's a shame they kind of um stopped doing that um so that was one good thing about these limbs anyway i did like the look of the back of them as the x stores were kind of a bit plain afterwards uh damping wise i haven't got much dampening on these at all i basically just got some um circular uh, svl broadland uh, dampers on here top and bottom on the inside of the limbs as well you can see i've got some quite nasty looking um, tennis grip on here actually because i get quite hot sweaty hands in the summer and have to use kind of liquid chalk on my hands as well so i find that the plasticky grips aren't great on the bows at all so i can't myself kind of see myself replacing a lot of these sort of tennis grips every year or so um, on on both my bows when it comes to the sight it's actually a um, sf velocity carbon sight um, it's obviously a left-handed sight um, i bought it because it was reasonably priced actually at the time before i think they stopped making them it's quite nice actually. It's quite heavy on the front end, but um, but yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, when it comes to my uh, string on this, I've got a, it's made by Rain Bow Strings and it's a 8125 a material and it's got 20 strands on it as well. When it comes to arrow rests, I've actually got a My Bow arrow rest on here uh, and not a Shibuya hour rest, um, but and also you can see that on the back there I've got a red Shibuya DX button. Uh, win and win clicker, carbon clicker on here. Not the not my favourite version. My favourite version is on my target bow. If you want to have a look at that video, because this one's got like a slot in it and it sort of can move around a bit. To be honest, um, the other one kind of has just holes in it and it kind of you can uh, adjust adjust it a bit bit easier and it stays in place uh, a lot better. So there's not too much on this bow actually. Um, it's fairly straightforward and simple, and just kind of ca it's just kind of built up of a lot of my um, spares really. To be honest, I think I only had to buy the sight really. That was all I had to kind of buy. The rest I just had kind of laying laying around. Now arrows, I use, um, I say I wanted to build this for, to use some cheaper arrows um, and nothing comes better value than an Eastern XX75. These are 1916s. I'm using an Eastern small G-Knock on these. 
in white. Um, and I've got name stickers on the back there, who, which come from Arrow Socks. Decided to have clear versions, so they looked a bit like the Eastern kind of graphics on there as well. Quite cheap to replace these XX75, so I don't kind of mind too much if I bend them or lose them. Thanks for watching this video. Um, please do like it if you do like it and subscribe to the channel as it really helps me out. Check out the other uh, video I did as well on my uh, target main target bow as well. I'll uh, drop the link in the description below. Thanks a lot. See you soon.